Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news is the co-leader who plotted to kidnap Michigan's governor has been sentenced. It tops our news this noon, everyone. Thanks to uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, we want to get right to that. Barry Croft Jr. avoided a life sentence, but uh, uh, this comes a day after his co-defendant, Adam Fox, also could have spent the rest of his life in prison, but he will now serve 16 years behind bars. For the latest on this developing story, we want to get out to Sean Lay, who's been covering this from the get go. Sean. Jason, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. It's 19 years in prison for Barry Croft. He was just sentenced in a federal courtroom over in Grand Rapids. It was a fiery sentencing prosecutors comparing Croft to ISIS leaders. The attorney for Barry Croft striking a far different tone in court this morning. In two trials, he blasted and blamed the FBI for setting up the men who were plotting to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Barry Croft was convicted of terrorism charges, conspiracy to kidnap, and weapons charges. His attorney blamed his mental health issues as a child in court this morning at sentencing. Prosecutors blasting Croft, comparing him to ISIS leaders, saying he truly was intent and close to launching a violent attack on the governor because he wanted to spark a war in the country. Federal Judge Robert Yonker said Croft's acts were incredibly serious, dangerous, yet a life sentence was not appropriate. Back here live, so it's 19 years for Barry Croft. It's 16 years for Adam Fox. These are the two guys convicted of federal charges here. There are others facing state charges of supporting the plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer. But Jason, we're just scratching the surface of what happened in court today. Much more starting at five. Back to you. Yeah, it'll be interesting to break this down, uh, given uh, what yep. these two men have done and their role in this whole plot. Sean, we appreciate it. More than 50 people have died across the nation during the historic winter storm that buried Buffalo, New York in more than